Among Britain's miners, there burns the comradeship of a team. This spirit shines in the story of Percy Hazeman, once one of the team, but now a cripple. Thirty years old, Percy Hazeman worked at this Maltby Rotherham pit for seven years until paralysis imprisoned him in a wheelchair. But his friends in the pit had not forgotten. They set up a fund to send Percy to America, where a St. Louis doctor hopes to cure the illness that had crippled him. And as the great day of departure arrives, there's new hope in the Hazeman family. Percy's mother is going with him to America. She'll look after all his little needs, as she has always done, and will take a temporary job to help pay the hospital bill. At Maltby's British Legion Club, Percy Hazeman says goodbye to the warm-hearted people who desire to help. They have collected 800 pounds, enough to pay the air passage and part of his treatment. Everything is prepared, passports, dollars and traveller's checks. And Percy Hazeman, a man of courage, sees in it all a future of hope. Maltby's children are still collecting, as their target is 200 pounds short. And they need more, for Percy's treatment will last six months, and it's expensive. But in this Yorkshire town, everyone gives freely and gladly. At London Airport, Percy Hazeman sets out on the last lap. Through the generosity of a little Yorkshire town, an invalid miner may be cured. Such is the courage and spirit of the men in the coal fields of Britain.